Tina Turner done gave us everything. Simply the best. Oh, 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 better than all the rest. Better than anything. Oh. She gave us her last documentary. And uh, hold on, Brandon. Oh, I'm not giving I'm not giving white people too much because I'm tearing their ass up too. They the, they the ones that fucked us up like that. Mm-hmm. They the ones got us fucked up the way we is with that classism and it, and it started in slavery. One a house nigga, one a field nigga, one a breeder, one of this, one in the stables, one over here, and one get one get two one get two pieces of cake and the other one don't get none. That's how that works. And that's why we fucked up the way we is. But we got we can break every chain like that. Hey, there's a power. Mm. We can we we can break that. We can stop all that shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I watched Tina Turner's documentary, and I uh, I was really sitting over there, and I was very much so. I understood. I watched it, and I didn't watch it with the eyes of like a fan. I watched it with the eyes of a person that was trying to learn. The woman has been in pain for years. And stage was the only release that she had. Mm-hmm. Did you watch it? You mm-hmm. didn't watch it. It's good. I just watched. It's, it's, I watched bitches. And, it's very bitches good. And stage was the only release that she. That man was abusing her, terrorizing her. She didn't want to talk about that no more. She didn't want to talk about that shit. And you bitches that be trying to interview me, <laughs> and asking me about bitches that don't I don't fuck with no I more. And who do, I don't want. And I'm eating y'all up like that. I, I'm gonna start eating y'all ass up. I know they gave me PR training how to how to talk. I'm eat. Because that's a part that I don't want to talk about. Those people are not relevant in my success. They what it was. They they were where they was. They ain't no more, bitch. Are we not talking? She don't. She was tired of talking about motherfucking night. She had to relive it every time. He wasn't though. He wasn't. Right. Ain't nobody that was around me that's gone from me. Ain't the reason why I'm where I'm at. God is the reason why. Hey. They serve their purpose and they gone. And I get sick of that same fucking shit. Like when I watched that, when I watched that documentary, I was like, I get you, Tina. I get it. This lady done had to live through this shit. She put, she said, All right, just like me. When I do whatever I do in my document, I'm gonna put it all out there. I'm gonna talk about it. And if y'all keep on talking about it, then that's on fucking y'all. I'm gonna cuss y'all out moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> she better than me. I would this wouldn't have been my last documentary talking about that shit. I ain't talking about it no more. I done interviewed about it, I done talked about it. Y'all watched it with your eyes, you seen it, whatever. It's gone, it's over. That's it. Not about what could have, what should have, what it ain't, it wasn't, it ain't ever gonna be, it isn't, it wasn't. That's that's Aretha Whitney got their song together. Oh, it isn't, it wasn't, it ain't ever gonna be. Yeah, that's just saying. I what he at, he did, and she was she at. Living. She done did her thing. Hey. Now I did really feel like that, you know. Um, she was really saying completely goodbye. Um, Chantel, you say he wrote her songs and music. He did, but he wasn't performing them. He didn't bring them to life. She did. She did that. She did that. That was the power in her. Hey. And he might have wrote them songs and he might have wrote that music, but God put that through him for her. It, and, them, and that goes back to the saying, what God got for you, you going to get. Hey, he's coming in the Honda. No matter who it come through, it could, it could come through your enemy. If, you, if God got what he got for you, you going to get that. Amen. And that's just how that's all going to be. If you people don't watch these movies to be entertained and, and watch watch it to learn. Like I was so, I was looking at this stuff and I said, damn. Um, damn. Is she telling us that she's, that she's like, is she saying the real goodbye? Like, I mean, she's 81. She done did it. Nom, yeah. Nyo, nyo, nyo. 
Nam yo ho ring yo. Woo! Big. Come on. But. She's probably tired. She's, 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 she done did it. And not, and not, and listen, probably like in a month or a couple years from now. Uh-uh. Nam yo ho ring. Uh-uh. Why she do that? She does so good. She said her last goodbye. Sometimes people be knowing when they, you know, sometimes people have a feeling when they time. Don't up. you do that. Don't do that. There was a part in there where she said she she wait her she loved her mother. She said, I watched my mother. And, and I just was looking at it like she said, I watched my mother. You said she, she said she used to stand in that window. And then one day she wasn't there no more. And she said her mama left her, left her, her sisters, left them there, and she waited for her and she never came back. At, at the young age, it was like, could you imagine coming home, Gigi, and I just done left? Well, you grown. You ain't a young age no more, even though you got a baby face. <laughs> just left. Yeah, but bitch, you had done left. Well, girl, where you at? Went on, went to a whole bit, done went and got a whole new life. Oh, bitch, I'm coming looking for you. No, bro. she left. Oh. And then, honey, you know when she went down there to St. Louis, honey. And you know when she said, what's up, what you don't know, you ain't... Girl, you ain't even know what your sister them look like. You know. I fucks with Jennifer Lewis because she played the hell out of motherfucking <laughs> goddamn. I love Jennifer Lewis. Jennifer Lewis called me the other day for my Patreons. Y'all already know. Me and Jennifer Lewis was on the phone the other day. And I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to mind the energy that you put out in the world. I had to learn this. I learned it the easy way and I learned it the hard way. You got to mind the energy you put out in the world because it will definitely return to you. Mm. It will return to you. It will come back. I was sitting at home and I was doing my whole press run and I got I was on Tony Moore's show. I didn't know Jennifer say uh, 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 she called Shangela and she said, Shangela, get that, get, get that, get, get, get that girl on the phone. <laughs> Send me that girl's number. And I just out the blue got a text from Jennifer Lewis that say, and I, I I would post it up here, but I only keeping y'all in my business like that. But I posted it in my Patreon, and she say, uh, "Hey baby, I seen something about you. I want to talk to you." This Jennifer Lewis, baby, I fell all out of my bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and see, that was that might not be something that's important to y'all, but what's it's important to me because that's somebody that's somebody that I also put on my vision board. Mm -hmm. And I put her on my vision board because I felt like I felt that we was kids. She she bipolar. She 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 got a reckless ass mouth, honey. She don't give a fuck. <laughs> but no, she gets her money. That woman gets her motherfucking money. Yeah. And she rolls through this thing and do her job and keep moving. She don't give a fuck about anything in between. She goes through the to gather her goods and get what's hers, and mm -hmm. she keep moving. Mm -hmm. And when we got on that telephone, I promised to God. I swear to God. I swear to God that when we got on that phone, I it was like nothing. And when one and she said to me, T. S. Madison, I am going to do your talk show. And I'm going to do it not because of what you said, because of what you didn't, and not because of who you wanted, because of who you didn't want. And she said, I watched it and she said, I seen so much of I me. Mean, she said you was raw. You was unfiltered and you ain't trying to make nobody put you in places with it. You making your own space and they just got to make it. They just got to come on around you. And she said, that's what I did. And I fucked with her the long way. Mm -hmm. I love that woman. I, my mama was in the bed sleep. I ran downstairs. I ain't have a bitch. I ain't have on no wig and she ain't have no Jennifer ain't have no wig or no makeup on. I ain't have no wig. Or no. I was in my bed sleep. And she fa she didn't call. She FaceTimed me. I ran downstairs. I say, Mama, look at oh, look. Mom, I busted in the room when Mama was asleep. I say, Mama, look, look. She looked. She, she my Mama said, Oh my God, do you know how much my child love you? My child quotes you every day, seventy five thousand times a day. I say, Yes, God, I'm still huge in Kinlaw. <laughs> 
Yeah. I told Jennifer, I said, let me tell you something. Don't look for me between two and three because I'm, I'm in, in the, the beauty, beauty shop. shop. When right. I say they want to fail all the way out, yes, and yes. I will say what was the funniest part about the whole situation was um, that she said to me, uh, she said, that was so funny. <laughs> Bitch, when I said don't look for me between two and three, I was like, I was I was doing my thing. Like, like I fan, I, I that's I'm a big fan of hers. I'm a big fan of hers. I love her. I see so much of me and her. So I needed to get it out. And I say, Jennifer, hold on now. Hush. I got to tell you. She said, All right, bitch. Okay, bitch, get it out. She said, get it all out. I'm going to give you one minute to get it all out. Get it all out right now. She said, I had to do the same goddamn thing when I met Aretha. I told Aretha to shut the fuck up and let me tell you how I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said, this is why I see so much yeah. of what's going on with you and with me and you the same. She said, so I'm going to shut the fuck up and let you tell me what you want to tell me. And you got one minute to do it because I did the same thing to motherfucking Aretha. Baby, I went to quote, I don't know what she is and I don't know if she ain't. All I know this is Jackie's, Jackie's that. All I could do, all I could squeeze in at that minute to tell that woman how much I love her and how much I appreciate her and how much it, that I adore her and how much of those things. When I got that moment, I gave that fucking moment. And then after that, we went to key in about everything else in the world. You know, we treated each other like human beings. It wasn't her telling me to treat her like an elevated star and this and the other. We we communicated like two human beings. Like she respected my grind. She respected my hustle. And she told me, no more arguing on that internet. No more fussing on that internet. You give them hoes your ass to kiss and you do your <laughs> fucking job. <laughs> Yes, that woman said, you give them hoes. She said, don't you argue with now another motherfucker on that internet and bitch, you give them hoes your ass to kiss mm -hmm. and you do your motherfucking job, bitch. And I'm going to do your damn show. Period. And that's all. That was it. Y'all don't see me argue with these hoes and shit no more. I, only, I barely be in the comment. Mm. Barely. I go through there and like my mom. I fuck with my mom. I'm, I'm more hands on with my mom in the Patreon because I feel like that's where y'all at. Y'all spin y'all change with me and we be together. That's just what it is in the inside. 